pair that I got at 1010, the one at Setia Kanangan Q Love. I thought it was 1889, turns out it's actually 1849. The one that I got actually has the 8 core CPU, 8 core GPU, and the 16 core neural engine with the 8 gigabytes of RAM. This one also has 512 gigs of memory for like storage, which is great because my old laptop has only 128, and by the time that I started using it after six months, it was just constantly full. So I'm very happy to get at least four times more storage in here. That being said, I still have a hard drive and I actually use my hard drives almost exclusively just because this one did not have enough space. Anyway, let's start with the unboxing. Am I the only one that watches unboxings when I get so excited to get something new? I think the one that I got was in gray, which is cute. It looks like this. And it feels thinner than my old laptop. Ooh. It comes with the USB-C charging port information. I've seen a lot of people, they get stickers from this stuff. Ooh, I got it. Oh, it comes with stickers too. Haha. Uh -huh. I have no idea where to put these stickers. Maybe I'll put it on my old iPhone. This is such a cute adapter and it's smaller than my MacBook Pro's adapter and it looks so cute. I'm gonna put these aside and then let's start setting up the MacBook. The first thing I'm thinking is it's so thin and you can see the little Apple logo is reflective. I'm just freaking out a little bit. Oof, the touchpad's nice. After you do all the language settings, it says accessibility. Um, I don't need to do this right now, so not now. Migration assistant. If you have information on another Mac, you can transfer it to this Mac. I know some people like to transfer all their files and all their old info from their old laptop to the new laptop, but personally, after not much thinking, I think I should just create this as a new Mac and start fresh. I am excited. Oh my goodness, look at that. I feel like the best thing to do right now is to not touch my laptop yet. I am going to put the case on first because I'm scared of breaking it again, which I always do. I will customize my Mac later because I think it's going to take a long, long, long time. You can see the difference between my 2015 MacBook Pro and the 13 inch MacBook Air. It's so much sleeker and actually it's way lighter, but because this is a MacBook Air much lighter, I'm guessing it's easier to break and ruin. I'm gonna put on the laptop case. I got this tough shell hard case for MacBook. I got it from 1010 as well. It was for only $29. I absolutely love my new laptop. I'm just screaming inside and I'm so, so happy that I got a new laptop and I'm just, I'm so excited to try it and learn how to video edit with it. I'm probably gonna download Final Cut Pro soon enough so I can try to maybe edit this video and see how it works and compare it to my old like MacBook Pro and see how Final Cut works. So I did get a few more accessories, not from 1010, but from Netcom and a few other places. If you wanna see like an accessories haul slash what I use with my MacBook Air 
please let me know. I'll probably make a video on it very, very soon. That's about it. I am going to try this out, customize my laptop, and I will probably check back with you in another video. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. It's always a pleasure to be here and talk to you and chat with you and just enjoy life with you. I gotta go now because I actually have an interview in one hour that I need to prepare for. Don't forget, I make new videos every other Saturday. And if you want to, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram if you want to. That'd be nice too. And yeah, that's about it. My name is Bash Harry, and I'll see you in two weeks. Okay, bye.